The FPAC trial is a randomized controlled trial comparing the investigational product uh, Luminor, a struck um, coated uh, uh, balloon, with the uh, standard uh, conventional uh, POBA plain old balloon angioplasty. Today uh, we are looking at the 24 month results, and uh, there we are. The primary endpoint was actually the late lumen loss, which we already presented last year, with astonishing results, a very uh, low uh, <coughs> um, uh, rate of um, uh, late lumen loss uh, for the investigational product with 0.14 as compared to one millimeter in the POBA group. And uh, today we are looking at the uh, secondary endpoints. Uh, this means patency rate, uh, freedom from TLR, uh, binary restenosis, and also the other clinical parameters like change of Rutherford, change of uh, AVI as compared to the um, uh, control group. We were able to maintain the great results from the 12 months to the uh, 24 month results. So um, uh, the freedom from TLR rate is still with 97%, uh, the highest which was uh, so far reached in, this, uh, in clinical trials for this uh, same area. Uh, and um, also the patency rate was 90%, which is also very high. Uh, by, by binary restenosis with uh, 20 percent uh, versus uh, 46 or 47 percent in the POBA group. Also astonishing results. So the efficacy is very, very high of this uh, investigational product of the Lumino uh, balloon. And, <clears throat> and also the uh, clinical um, uh, measures, so quality of life of the patient, there was, it was no more uh, significant, but still there's a strong tendency towards uh, better quality of life uh, of the patient. And this is uh, something which is quite important today. Uh, well, if you would have asked me one year ago, it's, that was not so, so, so much important to look at uh, all cause of mortality because the 24 month, actually other trials showed a tendency towards uh, all cause of death. But in our trial, we actually could show that there is uh, no real uh, increased risk uh, with our investigation uh, product. So that means we, in numbers, we actually had one uh, uh, um, death in the uh, DCB group, non-related death in the DCB group, and uh, two non-related uh, um, death in the uh, control group, POBA group. And uh, therefore, our risk ratio is below one. We could prove that the, uh, um, uh, well, to look at all cause of death, uh, which is actually uh, the none of the trials, this is also true for FPAC, is uh, powered for uh, all cause of death. Uh, uh, but uh, still, uh, nowadays after the Casanos um, uh, meta-analysis, everyone uh, talks about it because m uh, most of the trials, not all, but most of the trials showed a certain tendency uh, towards all cause of death, but actually in our um, uh, trial it was not, we, we could not uh, um, confirm this. We had actually only had one case of uh, death in the non-related non death in the um, DCB group as compared to two death in the POBA group, meaning uh, a risk ratio below one. Well, statistically uh, seen, uh, there is no difference between both groups. That means also that there is no risk. What makes uh, the Luminor different? Uh, this is actually not only um, uh, the case that we're using Pachytexel, all the others are also using Pachytexel, but um, also the excipient, but uh, mainly I, I believe, uh, I do not have scientific proof for it, but uh, from our data I can uh, only say that it is very eff uh, effective, and I think that the effectiveness has to do with the coating technology. I think the uptake in the vessel bore should be somehow higher than as compared compared to other um, balloons uh, and uh, the loss uh, for transfer uh, to the target lesion is probably less. So that is, uh, but this is only estimation because we do not have scientific proof for it, but actually our clinical results show that uh, the balloon must for some reason be more effective than others. And I believe that it's due to the uh, nanotechnology used in this uh, balloon.